Hey guys, so today we're making some no churn ice cream with some Reese's peanut butter cups and some Heath toffee bits. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So we're going to start with two cups of heavy cream and I'm just pouring this into a bowl. You do not need a stand mixer for this recipe. Again, this is just me being super extra. Um, but you can use a hand mixer and I imagine you can just whisk this by hand. But if you're doing it um, with just a regular whisk, you might be there for a while. So in the very least, I would suggest a hand mixer. And so you're just going to whisk that together until it forms some stiff peaks. You do not want to over mix it. And so after that, you are going to get another large bowl and add one can of sweetened condensed milk. And you're going to use the whole can. Y'all, this recipe was super easy, super delicious. Um, this was my first time making homemade ice cream. And so now I'm just going to add in uh, the whipped cream. And we're just going to fold it in with uh, the sweetened condensed milk. And then I added in a little bit of salt just to balance out some of the sweetness. And then I'm adding in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And you're just going to fold that together. And so you're just going to continue mixing it together. And now that I'm thinking about it, you probably did not need another bowl. You could have just mixed it in the same bowl. And so off camera, I just crushed up or like um, broke up some Reese's peanut butter cups. And so this is about 12 peanut butter cups that I just broke apart. And I'm just going to fold those into our batter. And so I'm also going to add in some Heath toffee bits to this ice cream. And so I'm just, I lined uh, a square pan and you can use a loaf pan or whatever pan that you have that you can put in the freezer. I just lined it with some uh, plastic wrap because I made some ice cream prior to this and it, it just seems so much easier to get it out with the plastic. And so I put half of my mixture into the pan and then I'm going to sprinkle in some toffee bits. You can make whatever, uh, I guess, flavor you want, like if you wanted to do Oreos or you wanted to do strawberry ice cream whatever you like you can put this in your ice cream and so i'm just putting the rest of our mixture on top of that and then i'm going to add some more of the toffee bits and a little bit of the peanut butter cups on top but again this is super easy this is perfect for this hot weather nice and refreshing something cold in hot weather and then i'm just going to let this uh i'm going to put it in the freezer you want it to at least firm up for about maybe six hours four to six hours and that's it guys you serve it up with whatever you want i ended up just putting some um peanut butter cups on top but that was pretty much it guys i really enjoyed this ice cream it tastes like something you would get at the store um and i will be sure to list the ingredients in the description box below and if you're interested in purchasing a kitchen aid i will be sure to put a link in the description box below as well and so this is my husband helping me out in the kitchen he is serving up this ice cream in this bowl that i got from walmart um walmart got some nice stuff y'all <laughs> but anyway we're just garnishing it with um some peanut butter cups and then some fresh mint but again you can you know put whatever candy you want whether it's snickers or payday whatever you like and this is the finished product you guys super easy you do not need an ice cream machine this is no churn ice cream and it tastes just as good please make sure you like share comment and subscribe see you guys next time bye